This is Greg McGee of Greg McGee Engineering. I'm comparing the Phoenix TK40 with the brand new MTE XML 1000 lumen flashlight. So on the right is the XML and on the left is the TK40. This is the M32i with the XML diode. So you can see in the snow on the right side the XML is way brighter than the TK40 which is the MCE diode. And I actually put brand new batteries in the TK40 because this is the third time I used it. And this is the third time the batteries died. I've used this for five minutes over the course of the last year and a half. And every time I put it in the cabinet, the batteries die because it's got a soft switch. So even when you turn it on, it still runs the batteries down. So anyway, the target is the house cross street and the tree. And this is the MTE light and it's just smoking bright. And you can see it just illuminate the crap out of everything. And this is the TK40. It's kind of yellow and it's dim and you can see the difference. So this is the TK40 and this is the XML MTE M32i. TK40, MTE. TK40, MTE. And you can't you can do like a side by side. It's kind of hard to see, but if we do like a side by side, it's kind of sketchy. So the top is the MTE and the bottom is the TK40. Now the bottom is the MTE and the top is the TK40. It's kind of hard to see the difference, but you can definitely see the difference when you're pointing it across the street. Again, this is the MTE light, just lights up everything, super white. And this is the TK40, kind of yellow and dim. MTE, TK40, MTE, it's got a, just a huge amount of light output, just like tons of peripheral light in addition to a great spot. And this is the TK40. So for the, for the price, and for the total amount of lumens, the MT E light is just much better. And all the modes are the same. It's got all the strobes, the SOS mode, and all the functionality. Thanks. Go to gregmcgeeengineering.com or mte-usa.com and buy one of these lights. Thanks.